Here in Australia, the first satellite program sent pictures from Carnarvon to London, linking families in an ABC BBC program. There are three cameras, one on a crane, one on a roof and one on a movable trolley. The cameras are controlled by the producer in the control van. If you go to your opening shot, go to your opening shot, camera one. The, the, the tight shot on Kim Corcoran, that's right. Yes, London, it is seven o'clock here on a Wednesday morning at Carnarvon in Western Australia. I'm talking to you from the main street of this town and I've been joined by some of the townspeople who've got up bright and early this morning for this special occasion of this first live telecast from Australia to London via satellite. And Mrs. Uh, Wright, will this would just like to say something? Yes, Mrs. Wright. Oh, yes. Do I speak to Laurie? You can speak to whoever you want. Oh, Les, it's lovely to see you again after all these years now. And Laurie, thank you so much for your lovely letters you send me. So oh, descriptive. I'm sorry we don't write more often, but my husband makes me work too hard. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. Hold it. Hold it there. Right. Now we cut away on to... On to... Wind him up. Wind him up, David. We'd like to give you some idea of this part of Australia where they've come to live. Right. On three. Cue him. From the air, this area looks quite barren, quite flat and empty, but in fact it's quite a prosperous area. In fact, the population has almost doubled in the last eight years, and they've come here because of the prosperity of the area. And the man who's most likely to know why people come here is Wilson Tucky, who was mayor of Carnarvon three years ago at the age of 27, and who owns the hotel we're standing on. Peter, people make Carnarvon, and uh, we're quite a varied lot, both by business and nationality. Out at the tracking station, we have Australians, Americans and Englishmen, and they make a fine team. There are two tracking stations at Carnarvon. The biggest, and up till now the more famous, is that operated by NASA, and is a vital link in the manned spaceflight program. But this second one, recently built, is owned by the Overseas Telecommunications Commission designed to transmit and receive signals via the communication satellites. It will also be used by a space tracking station for communications during orbital flights. The big tracking dish or antenna is an unconventional shape and glistens white from a high position three miles from the town. I asked Mr Jim Robertson, superintendent engineer, about this equipment and he explained why it differed from the usual round dish. This is, uh, again, a, quite a technical question. The purpose of the dish is to concentrate the transmitted and also the received beams in a very narrow pencil beam, so that it is highly directional. And this is the main function of this antenna, also to keep out extraneous noise from other parts of the solar system and from the Earth. If you dissect it, it is still a parabola like the ordinary dish. It has just got a hyperbola added to the top of it. Mm -hmm. 